Want to get the inside scoop on my new album? Want to know what I really think about Stevie Girls? Want to check out the new Missy Elliott video? It's a lot of want us. Then keep it right here. TRL starts now. making big moves today. We're in the green room. Today's guest, Pink. It's nice to have you back on the show. Thank you for coming by. Always nice to have you here. Um, let's talk about celebrating the new album, the release. Yes. Yesterday it was released. Yes. What did you do to uh, celebrate? I have a tradition that every um, album year, or right. every album release, release yeah. uh, we take a bottle of champagne and go down to the Virgin Megastore. We? You and your husband? Me and my husband, and usually my best friend, Laura, but she's at home recuperating, so... Oh, okay. Um, we go down, and we toast, and we buy a record. So you did that? Yeah. And do people notice you when you walk into the store? Is yeah. it kind of a scene? They didn't for the first two records, but <laughs> now my cover's crazy. blown. <laughs> nice. That's it. So it's a good thing. Um, and I also heard you got the diamonds in your, in your teeth. You addressed that last time you were here, I heard you swallowed one, I did. and you kind of blinged out your stomach a little bit. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. What happened? Uh, just that. I Usually I don't have to pay for them if they don't stay. That's, really? That's the deal I have it's a good with, deal. My, with my dentist. Nice. <laughs> it's a good but, dentist. Uh, yeah, it's, it becomes very interesting. Yeah, cool. <laughs> well, it's going to get more interesting. Pink is here uh, all show long. We're going to uh, hit the TRL set. Meet your fans soon. Uh, she's used to that, of course. Number eight, Neo. It's so sick on TRL. Stick around. Here, she's backstage right now. We'll get the inside scoop on her new album and all that good stuff. Do not go away. TRL from New York City. We'll be right back. Pink is actually here today. She's hanging backstage. She'll bring her out after this video. Uh, Rihanna, looking great in this video. Number six. Five, the top five. Today's first guest is here to celebrate the release of her new album. Album, ladies and gentlemen, Pink. Back on the show. Thank it's nice you. to see you. Uh, you. We had to wait a while for this album. I mean, this is the fourth release from you. It's been what two and a half years, if I'm yes. more or less. Yes. Um, did you? And it's a called wonderful two and a half years. A good two and a half years. We got married. And you're a happy woman, you know, uh, <laughs> like most married women, except for my mother. But anyway, I'll get into that later. Um, no, but uh, so it's called "I'm Not Dead," the album. Yes. And is that what you thought? Do you think maybe thought people thought that like, you disappeared or something? Mm. You went away? No, I knew that people would probably think that. That's why I named it. I was okay with that, but it's a lot more personal and deeper than that. It's just about sort of waking up and taking your blinders off and being aware and present and wanting to live while you can and all that stuff. Yeah, of course, of course. Got, this is cool because it's a cool album. You got your dad, actually, I do. to sing on a hidden track on the disc, right? Yes. Yeah, how was that having dad in the studio? He, it was total role reversal. He yeah. was really nervous and humble and cute. and Right really hard on himself. Because he was one of your big musical influences growing up, right? He was my first rock star. Yeah. But it was cute. Uh, you know, I was able to give him something. It was his first time in a recording studio. Right. It's a great song. So, now he's mad at me because people want to talk to him and interview him and stuff. He's like, I knew this was going to happen. I turned into a celebrity. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is your deal. Cool. Well, we talked about uh, the new album after this break. We can get a little personal, and I'm sure you can handle it. You, you have before. Probably. All right. Pink is here to hang out. We'll get to that. Much more with Pink. And keep these commercials, too. Uh, it's happening after that. TRL. Stick around. Uh, you were nice enough. A lot of celebrities do this. They give us their top five videos. We put them up on Overdrive yes. on the MTV website. Yes. Uh, your top five videos are pretty interesting. In particular, Outcast. Hey, uh, yes. why choose that video? Well, you didn't have the 13-minute version of Thriller, so... <laughs> right. Um, no, I, I love Outcast. I always have. The, I was label mates with them when I was 16, and right. I just love this song. No matter how upset you are, you always want to dance, and it's just amazing. It's, it's a really great. creative video, yeah. too, yeah. I think. Yeah. which is really nice to see. Yeah. If you want to see all of Pink's top five videos in full, uh, overdrive.mtv.com, that's the place. Lots of fans outside here. You want to pick one, maybe bring them up? Sure. You guys mind? Can we bring some of them? Oh, here we go. Who's it going to be? A lot of people got signs out there. Right there? Yeah. In, the, in the blue scarf? All right, come on up. 
Oh, she's doing a little bit. That's great. Did you see that? Yeah, baby. In just a minute, we'll crack open the uh, new album and ask Pink some questions, too. Very personal questions. Number five, Fall Out Boy, Little Us 16 Candles. In the meantime. Pink is with us here celebrating the uh, release of her new album. We're standing next to, by the way, the world's biggest copy of I'm Not Dead right here. Not too bad, right? What do you think of that? It's a I big album. I like it. Yeah. All right, let's open it up right here. Okay, perfect. And what we got here is uh, a couple, you know, all your tracks on the album. Fine. Behind the track will be a question uh, representative of, of the title of, of each track. Uh, you ready? Um, you want to see what's behind it? Okay. Pick the first track. What do we got? Uh, yeah. Let's go with um, Dear Mr. President. Dear Mr. President, number five on the CD. If you ran the country, this is a good one. If you ran the country, what would be the first item on your agenda? I would make any form of animal cruelty illegal. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's a good thing. I think it's uh, animal cruelty, anti-animal cruelty month. I think this this month too. Yep. Yeah, they got the wristbands going on. Uh, what's good. going on here? What else? What, what track do you want to check out? Oh, okay. Let's do Who Knew. Who Knew. Okay. Who Knew. Fun. What's one thing you were shocked to find out about your husband <laughs> after you were after you were married? You know, because that's when all the that's when you learn about him. You know, that's when you really find out who this guy is. I kind of knew who he was long before that. He nothing. Nothing. Honestly, no. He's no. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> He didn't like just start leaving the bathroom door open, or you know, no, there was no but like my those friends, ones? my friends just got married, and they would never, um, I hate this word, they would never fart around each other. Ah. And the married. day after they got married, he held her in a Dutch oven. You know, a Dutch yeah, oven. Yeah, yeah, I think we do. <laughs> <laughs> well. So that was her wedding gift, but I didn't get one of those. <laughs> right, right. Are they still together? I would have been like the marriage. It's a joke. We never got married. That's nice. Very nice. Yeah, All they're right. still well, together. A lot less grotesque things to come <laughs> from Pink. Uh, we'll get to some more of those in a minute. Back to the countdown. In the meantime, number four is Bo Bice and the Real Pink. Pink is on the show today and an abnormally large version of her new album, I'm Not Dead. We open up the CD once again, ask right. you some questions. I like these questions. Uh, they are good, aren't they? <laughs> All right, here we go. Pick another track. Um, oh, it's just Stupid Girls. Stupid Girls. That's the first single. Oh, this is good. What's the square root of 144? Your guess By the way, you, you can say whatever you want because I have no idea what the hell that is either. So, what you is know what? What, um, what is it? What is the square I'm root? I'm a spelling bee champion. What is it? 12? 12. There you go. Do you think we're stupid? <laughs> That's my question to the I audience. I have my moments. Yeah, let's pick another one here. Okay. Really? 12? It's um, really 12. <laughs> I guess that would make sense. Um, uh -huh. There's a bunch of good tracks here. What do you, you pick one? You really? Yeah. You and your I'm a, Well, let's see. <laughs> let's see this one. Conversations with my 13-year-old self. Okay. Because I've had many of those. Um, oh, this is good. If a friend asked you to play at her son's bar mitzvah, what would you what, would you do it? Would I do it? Would well, you do it? My mom's Jewish. She'd probably yell at me if I didn't. But no. You wouldn't? No. Why? No. No? <laughs> All right, fair enough. My mom called me and asked me if I'd sing Get the Party Started at her friend's son's bar mitzvah. And I was like, Get the Party Started, it's not a bar mitzvah song. <laughs> yeah, right. I wasn't even mad that she wanted me to sing it about my show. It was just all about the song. Right, absolutely. Well, there you go. I mean, you're pink. You can do whatever the hell you want. Uh, <laughs> thank you for playing, though. We appreciate you did this. Earlier, you brought a fan up from Times Square. Uh, our fan, pink fan, making her way into the studio right now. Got a big surprise for her after this break. You'll find out what it is. Coming up also, our first look at the Missy Elliott video, too. Thank you, Damien hanging with pink. This is cool. Tonight you've got a uh, you know, New York City, a big place, tons of, of, yeah. of clubs and bars and stuff. And in one particular one tonight, you've got a surprise concert. You'll waltz in there yeah. and you perform for all these people. Yes. Is this your idea? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I love it. How'd you come up with this idea here? Um, it's just that's what I love to do. Surprise people. Talk all day and then just scream at night. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, well, we got that fan. Where's that fan? There you are, right there. Come on Hi. over here. Come on come over. Up. Brought, her up, brought her up from outside. How are you? And it's cold day. Oh my God. What's your name? Shatima. Shatima? Shatima. And where are you from, Shatima? New York. New York City? You're a big Pink fan? I love your music. You're, you're beautiful. 
<laughs> what, is, what is it about her music that you love so much? Everything. Like, she's so diverse. Like, she's into a lot of things, and right. she stands out from the crowd. Yeah, her she's honesty. Not, yeah, she's yeah. not afraid to show it. Right. Well, <laughs> Have you? This is the big question. Wait, what else? No. Yeah, what else? <laughs> um, this is the big question. Have you seen Pink in concert before? Never. You've never seen her in no. concert before? All right, well, <laughs> here are, I believe I have them in my back pocket, two tickets. Oh, Tonight's oh surprise God. show. It's top secret. Right there. We'll give you all the information after TRL about where you have to go, but it's top secret. Don't tell anybody else and bring a friend, okay? Oh, thank you. Cool. Thank you very much for, uh, for being a fan. I'm not dead in stores now. Pink, thank you for coming by. It's always nice to have you here. Ah, there you go. A little look to the fan. Missy Elliott's got some amazing moves. Video's coming up in a minute. Number three, Clay Clarkson, walk away.